Ah, oh, that felt good. What's going on, guys? JSGC here, and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today, we're going to be doing the match review, match reaction, and match analysis of Manchester City's game against Nottingham Forest, which City have won at the Etihad Stadium by six goals to nil. You hear me right? Six nil very impressive but before i do crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content then do subscribe to my channel less than 800 subs away from 28,000 subscribers we are doing regular manchester city content here for you guys to enjoy so make sure you have subscribed social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries do leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video 200 likes is the aim to only help towards that would be much appreciated and do let me know your thoughts of this emphatic victory for manchester city in the comments below so let's crack on then with this video and we're going to well it's only one real place we can start really and that's speaking about the main man himself erling brought halland and i was saying in my last video that halland could score 40 premier league goals this season and I mean that. I really do mean that. He could score 40 Premier League goals this season. If he stays fit and does, what, 30, 35 Premier League games, then he will score 40 goals. He is insanely good. He scored nine in five. He's bettered Aguero's record in his first five games for Manchester City, which was eight. He's bettered that by scoring nine. Uh, he's nearly into double figures, and he'll have all eyes upon trying to be the Premier League's, well, top goal scorer, uh, winning the Golden Boot for the season that'll be really nice to have and of course his ambition is to win the Ballon d'Or and the only way he does that is through scoring an abundance of gold and breaking Premier League records which at the moment he's on course to not only do but to smash these records apart it's so impressive the fact that he's gone out there and scored a first half 38 minute perfect hat trick this time is so impressive comes about 12 minutes always what we're looking for uh, with uh, Foden crossing the ball in and Haaland stabbing it in Alvarez had a, a, an earlier opportunity which was saved by Henderson very similar to that Haaland made no mistake put the ball into the back of the net making it 1-0 to Manchester City and when we do grab that first goal as so often we see City go on to win the game and what City do is when they grab that goal they push and try and get that second goal which we managed to get this time lucky for Haaland gets it through a tap him uh, with his right foot on the 23rd minute and you felt like the game was done and dusted from there and I'll say during my live stream that all I want for Manchester City is to grab that third goal and get the job done and how we managed to do that again 38 minutes in this time John Stones leaps highest nods it back across goal and there's Haaland to complete the perfect hat trick one with his left foot one with his right foot and one with his head into the back of the net 3-0 job done three points Manchester City we move on and Haaland's got his hat trick as well and what was really nice to see going into the second half was Man City weren't done there they could have just taken the foot off the gas and I did say again on my live stream I can see Man City the first five ten minutes of the second half trying to get that that fourth goal get them subs in and that's when City will kind of ease off a bit and that's exactly what happened Xiao Cancelo getting the pick of the lot with the best goal scored in the game an assist with Bernardo Silva a cracking hit I think Dean Henderson will be a bit disappointed to be beaten uh, considering the ball wasn't into the top corner but it was still a very powerful effort hit what 20 yards out cracking finish from Xiao Cancelo and making it Manchester City for Nottingham Forest nil and I'm sure Forest will have been wishing them stayed at home um, however you don't often get the chance to play the Premier League champions and getting to the Premier League is all about going to places like the Etihad Stadium and having them experiences and sometimes you get beaten, sometimes you get heavily beaten it's part and parcel of what happens uh, this defeat for Nottingham Forest today isn't going to define whether they stay in the Premier League or not or whether they have a successful season or not that'll be uh, when they go up against all the teams that are going to be around them, they're the important games for them that are here, not against Manchester City and I'm sure uh, right now uh, Forest would want to get us at the City ground to try and get some revenge because they'll be, they'll be hurting right now, of course it's only natural now City did make some subs in the second half we saw Mares come on for Rodri and Cole Palmer come on for Phil Foden we did eventually uh, see um, Erling Haaland come off but that wasn't until the 69th minute I mean some were arguing he didn't even need to come out for the second half but still he did uh, he came on uh, came off and Kevin De Bruyne came on and it was also Sergio Gomez getting himself uh, a good 20 minutes or so coming on for Xiao Cancelo and we'd also saw Rico Lewis come on for his Premier League debut for Manchester City coming on for John Stones in the 75th minute as well 
well, which was really nice to see. And Man City managed to grab themselves a couple more goals at the end. Julian Alvarez, very impressed with him. Never stopped running, never gave up. He's got a cracking finish on him. First one being poked under the legs of Dean Henderson. And the second one, uh, very good finish. Uh, arguably right up there with a the finish that Cancelo did. Getting it onto his left foot and going first time up onto the crossbar and into the roof of the net. Cracking finish there from uh, Julian Alvarez in the 87th minute to complete what was an emphatic victory for Manchester City by six goals to nil and uh, does send us, uh, well, keeps us in second place, but uh, it's continuing to put that pressure onto Arsenal as we head into our weekend game uh, against uh, Aston Villa away from home. Now, in terms of my analysis, what did I take away from this game? Well, Man City had 75% possession. Uh, we had, what, uh, was it nine shots on target, six goals? It's very impressive. It's clinical. But what I took away more than anything else was Man City's ability on set play. Ilkay Gundogan was so, so good on set pieces for Manchester City in this game. I was very, very impressed. And that's something I'd like to see going into the future is Ilkay Gundogan when he is starting on them set pieces. His corners, his free kicks and balls into the box in general were very good. And Man City's ability with their crossing actually is a lot better. We even in the first half had a cross completion rate of 21%, which is unheard of. I'm used to it being 7%, not 21%. So clear Man City are doing a bit of work when it comes to their balls into the box, which is uh, telling with Man City scoring so many goals. We've gone from uh, scoring a couple against West Ham in our first goal of the season. Uh, that's two goals. We scored four against Bournemouth. That's six goals. We also scored three against Newcastle. That's nine goals. And then four against Crystal Palace takes us on to 13. And then our fifth game in, we've scored 19 goals. We had that friendly against Barcelona and we scored three more there. So Man City certainly finding their feet when it comes to the goals. Alvarez getting in amongst the goals is great to see. One of the big bonuses that I took away from this game, but all headlines will belong once more to Erling Braut Halland. Why? because he's a sensational football player and he's just mouthwatering. You can't wait to see Man City on the field again and you can't wait because you want to go and watch Haaland and it's really good to see. Fantastic to see. I feel like Man City right now are at the pinnacle of their game and what was really good from this game is not only are we scoring the goals, we seem to be very organised here defensively and we've managed to keep a clean sheet which is brilliant. To me, this is the perfect result. I couldn't have asked for any more from Manchester City. Uh, they gave their all loads of effort the keeping a clean sheet, plenty of goals, hat tricks, impressed with everyone that played. It is the perfect perfect performance from Manchester City. Three points more as we move on to our game against Villa at the weekend, where hopefully we can continue that as we head into playing every three to four days throughout September till we get towards the international break, which is towards the end of September. So there we go. That has been the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, then do leave a thumbs up. 200 likes is the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to let me know what you think of this win for Manchester City in the comments below. Also, don't forget as well to subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Manchester City head to Aston Villa. We'll have all the build-up to that and on transfer deadline day in Man City, potentially signing a player in Manuel Akanji for everyone to look forward to over the next couple of days in the build-up to that Villa game for Forest. It's a home match against Bournemouth coming up. So there we go. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I've been JSGC. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.